Coming to you live from Southern California, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Texas Rangers and the Los Angeles Angels. And now, your 2024 Los Angeles Angels. So just about set now. And pitching in this game, Michelle Guzman. Chris, her strikeout rate this year among the best all time. She's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league. I mean, strikeouts per nine off the chart. So the opposing team, they know they have their work cut out for them anytime they're facing this pitcher or a pitcher like this that's going to get the swings and misses. Pretty much in a class of her own when it comes to that category. The pitch. Wyatt Lankford stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. She deals. Got him swinging. Now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the your outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One out, base is empty. And strike two. Got to be careful here. This is the okay. type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's out number two. Batting third, the shortstop, Corey. Corey Seager now. The Dodgers made him a first-round pick back in 2012. 18th overall that year for Seager, Boog, and Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton, Marcus Stroman, just a few other first-rounders from that class. I'd say pretty solid group. And a foul ball. Two outs, bases empty. Next offering is down low. The shortstop takes the ball. It's a good take. The 2 2. Bounce to the right. Ring Hifo. Fires over to first. Rangers go down in order. Rangers nothing. Angels coming up. You're watching Angels baseball on the show, L.A. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second, here's Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos.
Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Oh, oh, she doesn't get the call. Ball one. The pitch. Fought off foul. Two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. She really filled up the strike zone in that at bat until that final pitch. And as a hitter, you sense that they're coming after you, not dancing around the strike zone. They want to attack. And so you kind of get into swing mode, and you have to protect the plate. That's when you become really susceptible to something that makes you chase. And that's exactly what happened right there. Here's Josh Young. Front with the swing, and that is strike one. No ball, one strike. And a good eye there. There's the swing and a miss. One and two. One down, base is empty. Just oh. missed. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. And a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. That I mean, there's just it. no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive yeah. outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. ball two outs and a swing and a miss and it's a three up three down inning nothing doing for the Rangers we'll go to the bottom of the second no score And we're back, and digging in, Michelle Guzman. This is a true five-tool player. Not Guzman. very many of them out there, but when she's on the field, you can't take your eyes off her. Fans come to the ballpark to watch her play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting... Swing, and that one's hammered. Deep drive, way back there. Mid -down. She circles the bases. It's her sixth home run of the season, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. She only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity she was all over that fastball back in Anaheim out of the third inning now it's the second baseman Ezekiel Duran the right hander back to work 
Well, these Rangers, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These batters are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough, got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And now the catcher comes up to him, Jonah Heim. Swing and a foul straight back. Heim, a former All-Star, in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2013. And ball one. The Rangers down by a run here in the second game of the series. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. One down, base is empty. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. You want to be patient with knuckleballers and not give into that pitch that's going to dart out of the zone at the very last moment. But that was about as hittable as knuckleballs can get, and he was frozen. Leone Tavares. Now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Strikes picks up strikeout number seven. Rangers go down quickly there, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Now batter, the designated hitter, Michael Guzman. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back. Oh, you are a star, aren't you? Another homer. Her second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 4-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing and welcome back Leading to the ballpark the new inning getting the started Lakers. and now it's the Rangers Wyatt. leadoff hitter Langford. Wyatt Lankford the wind of the pitch oh she doesn't get the call one and oh and another ball the rest of the lineup could You're learn out. a thing or two from this at bat right here he's been patient and now he's in the driver's seat with a 2-0 count next Wait. offering is in for a strike here we go. 
Popped up. Guzma makes the grab, and there's one down. That was a good pitch now to that, hit right down the heart of the, the plate. Baseball. Had pretty good timing Nathaniel. on it. Just got underneath it a little bit Whoa. and popped it up. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Struck out swinging his first time. That's in there. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. The Angels leading by four. Top half of inning number four. Caught it looking for the K. Well, she's had a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break her rhythm. Put the bat on the ball. Maybe try to bunt for a base hit. Get her off the mound. Move her around. Step out. Do something to interrupt her timing because she's coming right after him. Seeger stands in now. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Just missed with one. that backdoor breaking ball. If she gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 oh, 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for her to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Misses, it's a strikeout. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. Back here at Angel Leading Stadium, and now Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos. Guzman back to work right through there for a strike. Well, these Rangers just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. She's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. That one finds the zone, and a count is 0-2. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. The punch out there, and there's one down. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect her to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, she's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Young swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. One down, base is empty. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Kicks and deals. Got it by him for the call. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. She can do whatever she wants with the baseball right now. Yeah. Smith. Josh Smith hey, stepping go. in for the Rangers. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. There's a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. She's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Two down, nobody on. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated oh, hitter. Here. Two outs. And they'll do it again. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. The Rangers hitless so far in the game. And 
and good work there as she gets a one two three nothing doing for the Rangers they're down four nothing the batter the designated hitter Michelle Guzman Here's the swing of the drive, left field, and she knew it. And she's gone yard again. That's her third home run of the game. And they add a run, it's 6-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off her back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. She's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and she's just so locked in with her swing, and she's just not missing right now. A three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching her pull it off as well. And we're back, top the of the Rangers. sixth inning. And the stepping in inning. is the speedy Ezekiel, Ezekiel Duran. And a pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing and a miss as he was out front. No ball, two strikes. So now we'll pinch hitter, Marcus Simeon. This is a tough task. Coming in cold off the bench and in the middle of an at-bat, man, you're just never anticipating that. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Next up for Texas, Jonah Heim. Struck out looking in his first at bat. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. She's not afraid of contact. Some pitchers. They'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Way out front for strike two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what she does. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there are two down. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting herself in this one, Boo. Feeling really good about what she's working with. And that really allows a pitcher to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Here's Leody Tavares. His first at bat was a strikeout. Tavares measures six feet two inches 25 years old and he was born in the Dominican Republic two down nobody on uh, two. I went to popped up Stefanik settles under this one 
And that'll do it. So she's perfect through six. It's the Angels six, and the Rangers nothing. Back in Anaheim, now the left fielder, Wyatt Langford. Wyatt. She's been so great today, really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, she hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses. And it's on two. Struck him out. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Low. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Oh, and one. Next offering in there for a strike. 0-2. Oh, well, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, she's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Space is empty. Corey Seeger stepping in for the Rangers. And there's a ball. Swings through that one for strike one. One one. The Rangers still looking for their first hit in this one. Hit on the ground and it gets through. Just like that, the perfect game is gone. And that keeps the inning going. Now batting, the center fielder, Elliot Romo. So, man aboard, Elliot Ramos stepping in for the Rangers, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And the righty deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He finds himself in a oh, tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And she got him. That's the third out. Rangers lead one. They still find themselves down. Six in. Michelle Guzman, the next to hit for the Angels. Three for three, and she's homered three times. Swung on, belted. Back there. Oh, you are a star, aren't you? Another 
another homer. Her fourth home run of the game. It's 7-0. That fastball wasn't even in the zone, and she was still able to hit it out. Wow. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare, they're so special, and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you. But and welcome back to the ballpark. The third Here's the third baseman, baseman Josh Young. Josh Young. The pitch. Young tries to hold up, appeal to first, and Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. She's got a great feel for her breaking ball today. Got him swinging. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Smith in the box now. No balls and a strike. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. One down, base is empty. Swing, and this one's bounced on the ground. Zips it to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus. Here is Marcus Simeon, having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Swing and a miss. Zero balls, one strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. in two now gets a piece there we'll do it again and yeah, that skips in the dirt goes down looking Rangers go down quickly there, not going their way. It's seven nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. The pitch. Up the middle. To first. Now one gone in the ninth. She's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out the of the air, lets the three. defense work behind her with another ground ball. Good Tavera. execution. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Laoti Tavares. Let's go. 
right through there for a strike. Her pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind her. That's why she's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Next offering in there for a strike. Okay. And the count is 0-2. One down, base is empty. That's a little bit low. You just don't see it that much anymore, a pitcher being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if she's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, she's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And here it comes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Here's a one-two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. Okay. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. So it's their last chance in this one. So next to hit for Texas, Wyatt Lankford. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And that's in there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one out in front that time. This could end it. On the ground, and this should do it. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. And the Angels take the first two games of this series. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know she's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that she gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if she'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps she'd have a no-hitter.